Hi, it's Caitlin, and if you haven't already noticed, I have decided to leave Streets Ahead style in the past, and I am now Caitlin Swatches. I know you're here for the wildflower lacquer, but um, I just wanted to let everybody know that I am now at Caitlin Swatches on Instagram. So if you are already following Streets Ahead style, it's now just gonna say Caitlin Swatches. And I have changed the name of my YouTube channel um, and my Facebook page, but I don't know if anyone even looks at that anymore. So um, yeah, I'm Caitlin Swatches now. So let's talk about nail polish. So today I am so excited to be sharing the Happy Little Polishes collection by Wildflower Lacquer. There are five nail polishes in that collection and they are all inspired by Bob Ross, which like is brilliant for a nail polish collection. And these nail polishes are like, they're it, they're the moment. I'm loving all of them. And the other nail polish I'm sharing is the Alzheimer's Awareness Nail Polish, which Taylor creates every year. She creates a new one to honor her grandma who battled Alzheimer's disease. And then um, there's always a donation to a charity for the polish. So it's very generous of Taylor and the polish is also really beautiful. So in terms of buying these nail polishes, they will go on sale. There'll be a pre-order and it will start on September 9th at noon central time. I think that's, that's the time zone, CT and then it will close on September 13th at 11.59 Central Time. That will be on the Wildflower Lacquer website, but they'll most likely also be available on the Harlow and Company website. So I'll link Wildflower Lacquer and Harlow and Company in the description, and I'll also include the names of the nail polishes, the pricing details, and the specifics on the donation component for the Alzheimer's Awareness Nail Polish. And if you haven't already, I would love if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. I swatch nail polish, the prettiest nail polish, and um, yeah, let's get into these. All right, so we're starting off with Happy Little Trees, and this nail polish is described as a shimmery green to blue to purple shifting base with scattered hollow flakes. And as you can see, it's incredible. It reminds me of ghosts and like I don't know it's like the most beautiful spooky nail polish I've ever seen um, and it applies perfectly in two coats and this look at it does not do it justice so just wait for like gratuitous footage of how beautiful this nail polish is I love it so much it just is everything to me um, as you can see here like when I'm moving my fingers do you see how it almost disappears from my nail I don't think that's just because of my skin tone it's something about this polish so I imagine it's going to look as ethereal and ghostly on everyone and as you can see that blue shimmer is so strong it's just incredible so if you don't watch any more of this video then I put this one first because I think it's just incredible and it's, yeah, I'll stop. I'm just going on forever about it, but you just have to see it to believe it, and I'm trying to show it off as best as I can. The second polish is Beauty is Everywhere, and this one is described as a very soft cornflower blue base with strong shimmer, and um, the shimmer shifts from pink to gold to green. And as you can see, this also has a really good formula the last few collections from Wildflower Lacquer, like they're all just two coaters, which I think is so convenient. That's kind of how I love nail polish. I mean, I'm happy to do three, but if I can get opacity in two coats, then I'm here for it. So here it is in two coats plus top coat. As you can see, this one is also very shimmery and you're going to see how truly shimmery it is right here. Um, yeah, this also looks like three different nail polishes depending on what light you catch it in. It kind of blew my mind as well. And um, I don't know, this collection is just kind of magical. It's very, very trippy, very magical, very shimmery. And I love how this one looks here, sort of in the shade. Uh, this one is called Little Creatures and it's described as a brown base with strong pink to orange to gold shifting shimmer, hollow, and scattered hollow flakes. So another one that was completely opaque in two coats with the strongest shimmer ever. 
and the most beautiful hollow. I'm a huge fan of scattered hollow flakes, so as you can see, it does dry down dull, but top coat brings back the shine. And this one is like a very beautiful fallish, foresty kind of polish. Um, the name is also just very cute. And as you can see, the hollow is so strong. So here it is as I move it through the various lighting angles that I have set up. And I wanted to show it off outside because it was a sunny day and it looks amazing in the sun. This next one is called We Don't Make Mistakes, We Have Happy Accidents. And that name is so adorable. And I feel like I should tattoo that like somewhere on my body because it's like a really good life philosophy. Um, this one's described as a navy jelly base packed with copper to gold shifting crystal flakes gold to green crystal flakes and holographic flakes as well as a subtle pink to orange to gold shifting shimmer so this one was just packed with flakes as i mean you can hear me describing it and also when you look at it so you definitely want top coat to smooth it out and bring back the shine but it's pretty easy to remove and um the application was so easy so yeah I'm, I just love this whole collection and sometimes I just wonder if I'm talking too much but they're just so beautiful and I want you to see how beautiful all these polishes are in all the different lighting. And last but not least from the Happy Little Polishes collection is Beat the Devil Out of It and this one is described as a deep violet base with strong black to red multi-chrome shimmer and scattered hollow flakes. So this one is incredible it's that like black to red multi-chrome that you know has been around recently but this one is just special in a different way um i feel like maybe it's not black i, I mean it's described as violet so it is different i guess and it shows and it's beautiful and i absolutely love how um obviously the scattered hollow flakes stand out so it really does look like a galaxy on your fingertips which if you've been here for a while you know how i feel about anything that looks like a galaxy so i really really love this one um it reminds me of a beautiful like fall night outside and it's making me very excited for those moments so it's nice to have it on my fingertips and i love it and this one is called Sewn with Love. So every year since Wildflower opened, Taylor has created a polish in memory of her grandma who battled Alzheimer's disease. This year, Taylor was inspired by a photo of her grandma and a dress that she made. It's a beautiful photo. And this is called Sewn with Love, which is a deep maroon base with strong purple to red to orange multi-chrome shimmer and scattered hollow. Taylor's grandma was clearly a style icon and was gorgeous and sounds like an incredible woman and this is a really beautiful tribute to her so I love it it makes me think of my nan and um, she didn't have Alzheimer's but my granddad did and it is a very difficult thing to watch someone um, experience so my heart goes out to anyone who has a loved one with Alzheimer's or cares for someone so if it wasn't like completely obvious from my video commentary as I was swatching, Happy Little Trees is like my new obsession. That nail polish is incredible. It's like a ghost nail polish. Like it disappears on your nail in some angles and then in other ones it's like blindingly iridescent and holographic. So if you're into like super ethereal or ghostly nail polishes, then you need that one. Um, I'm just completely obsessed with it. And the Sewn With Love nail polish is just so beautiful because of the story behind it. And I also just love nail polishes like that. So um, I don't think you can go wrong with any of these nail polishes. They're all incredible. I love every single one of them. And I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. So let me know if you're planning on picking any of these up. Maybe you're going to pick up all of them. And Hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Take care. Bye.